Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of the Gilgamesh Chase from the Eternals movie. I found this guy at my local comic book shop and I think it was about 35 Canadian dollars. It is a glow-in-the-dark chase too, which is also really cool. I think I only have about one or two glow-in-the-dark chases right now. And they're really cool and the chase sticker is a little bit different and a little bit more unique. And quickly before we unbox it, the main difference between this and the regular version is that the regular version is Gilgamesh essentially essentially not using his powers and the chase one is where he is. You can see he's using his energy punches and his eyes are glowing yellow. So that's the main differentiator between the regular version and the chase. Now let's go ahead and unbox this guy. Alright, so here he is. I gotta say the packaging looks really, really cool. The Eternals logo with the stars behind it and everything and the gold accents looks awesome. There is the limited edition Glow Chase sticker. So here's the front of the box. We've got the Eternals logo, the Pop logo, Gilgamesh written on the bottom. Then we flip it over to the side. We've got some more artwork. Then if we go to the back, you can see the whole Eternals collection. The only other ones that I really want to get is probably Thena and Icarus. I think Icarus would have been a really cool chase if they did the same kind of thing like him using his powers and made it glow in the dark and everything I think that'd be a really cool chase idea but unfortunately they didn't do that but anyways we'll just flip it over to the other side so it just says Gilgamesh item 730 there's the top and there's the bottom time to open him up Alright, let's take him out of the packaging. So right away, as you guys probably know, he is a bobblehead because pretty much every single Marvel Funko Pop is. So don't be surprised if his head starts moving around like crazy. The gold eyes and the facial hair and everything looks really well done. The paint apps on this guy is pretty much perfect as well. It doesn't look like there's any defects anywhere. You can see his green and gold Eternals armor with all of those little circle designs. I think it looks really cool. And then we also get the energy punch, which is basically energy just kind of floating around his his hand forming a fist. It almost kind of looks like the Netflix Iron Fist powers, but we don't talk about that show. This looks really, really cool, and I really like the hair sculpt that they went with as well. I think it looks really, really nice. The texture and weathering and everything looks great. Now, for the back of the suit, it's pretty much the exact same thing as the front. The designs are almost identical, too. You can see that it does go from a darker green to a lighter green with almost like a gold sash going through the side here. You can see the boots are gold, and then the bottom of the boots are kind of like a bronzy color and some metallic green armor covering his knees overall overall I really like the design of this figure and I think it was done overall I really like this Funko Pop and I think they captured the look of Gilgamesh from the movie really well I just like how he's in like a battle ready pose he's got his energy punch ready to go and then he has his other arm ready to punch as well this guy is ready for a fight and I just really like the pose that they went with it's subtle but also dynamic but quickly before we wrap up the review let's go ahead and test out the glow-in-the-dark paint app that's applied to the energy punch. Alright guys, I gotta say I'm a little bit disappointed with the glow in the dark. I actually don't even notice anything glowing and it might look a little bit brighter on the screen right now, but where I am is pretty much pitch black and normally on Funko Pops that are glow in the dark, you can see something, but with this one, I'm not seeing almost anything at all, which kind of sucks because it would have been a really cool glow in the dark pop if his energy punch was glowing, but unfortunately it looks like the one that I picked up does not glow at all. Now this might be a defect for my specific Funko Pop and the other ones out there might be actually glowing. I don't really know, so if you guys have one and it does glow, let me know down below in the comments. But mine, unfortunately, does not. So guys, that's pretty much it for the unboxing and review of the Gilgamesh Chase. Leave a comment down below of what you guys think about him. I really like this figure and I think it's gonna stand out in my MCU Chase collection. I just wish it actually glowed in the dark, but hey, you know, whatever. Not a huge deal because I just like the look of the character right now. And if it it did glow in the dark that would be a little bit of a bonus but it's not a huge deal to me i'm just glad i got another chase to add to my marvel collection so yeah that's pretty much it for the video thank you for watching if you guys are new to the channel make sure you like and subscribe i hope you guys all have a great day and i will see you guys in the next video